I'm here to talk about processing multiple files in Photoshop Elements. I have version 11. They had this in many other versions here. I go on File, Process Multiple Files. What it is, it can do many actions. Instead of opening up a file, making it smaller, this, 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 and that, you can do a whole batch here. And when I'm on the screen here, I have a lot of options here. I always tell people, put it in another folder here. So I'm going to stay with the folder here. And then I browse and I'm going to go into my pictures I'm on Windows 7 and I create a special folder in here called elements action um, I would always say here I create a folder here because you're going to export them from one folder and put them into the reduce size folder so I say OK it's going to include everything in there so I would suggest if you're doing this to just move them into another folder you could also include the subfolders in here now I'm going to browse for the destination and again I'm going to go into I'm going to put it in the reduced size okay and you can rename them if you want to. I'm just going to leave them the same name because they're going from one to the other. Um, you could use different options in here. And I could give it a serial number. Again, I leave. if I go there, I could go in here and add a serial number here. Lots of things with dates and stuff. So if you're doing things on a certain date, it's a nice little feature here. Compatibility, Windows, Mac OS. Uh, they should open here. What I want to do in this thing here, I want to resize them. I specify the size. And let's say I can make it inches or pixels here. And I want to make them smaller. Um, these were shot at 300 dpi. You'll see this in a couple minutes here. I have constrained proportions. So that way, if one is vertical, the other one's horizontal, it will keep it proportionately here. I can reduce the size of the image if I want to. So I can go into here and I'm just going to say JPEG low quality. And if there's errors, it will check them off here. Um, I could put a watermark in the photo. I could give it a caption. And where I could just say file name, it'll go in there. And then in the bottom there, and I have a font there, I can make it a little larger if I want because I'm putting them online I don't want people to you know what I'm saying steal them I say okay I only have 20 files in there it goes pretty fast uh, you'll see uh, I'll just click on the okay and then it's processing them and I'll just say don't show again I say okay it's gonna go through this pretty quickly and why it's doing this I'm gonna go into the folder in one second here. Uh, sometimes it's best not to click on too many things when you're doing a batch like this. Um, it could mess up the computer and lose everything you've done. So let's just wait a moment. It has an error here surprised it happened. Uh, chances are that it worked okay and I'm gonna go into here. These are the original files here and if I just click on one of the list here and just go to details you can see the sizes of them. They're like two and a half to three megabytes each. I'm gonna go into this folder here this has the error message in here and if I go and click on this one here it's a lot smaller it's got the file name in the corner here this is the error message let's look at it could not we could not recognize the file extension um, it could have been because it saw something in there and if I go in here I'm just going to delete this um, I don't need that anymore. I have 20 items here and I'm going to go back into the other folder here and I can see I have 20 items there. I would have to go and look at each one but this was doing the action here. You could see how really easy it is and I'm sure you could find many uses for this.